Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very warm welcome to you all. Lovely to, to see you all here and uh, welcome to the Joint Scottish Botanists Conference brought to you by BSGI, BSS and RBGE. If I can think of any other letters to put in there, I will. But it's a gathering, I think, of 207 at the last count, Matt, is that right? And more. Fantastic turnout and thank you very much for travelling. Uh, particularly those who have come a long way. And I think this is a clear indication that botany is alive and well in Scotland. And it's great to see a spread of ages as well. I won't say any more than that, but it's great to see a spread of ages. And I'm in the upper quartile now, so what do I care? But anyway, uh, BSGI, BSS and RBGE are just the headline organisations. And of course, there are some terrific contributions for many other organisations, including Trees for Life. Where's Trees for Life? There we are. Hello, Trees for Life. Uh, Plant Life. I think I saw Alistair somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Scottish Government. We're going to hear from Matt in a minute. Hello to the Scottish Government. Uh, Scottish Wildlife Trust. Tim, are you representing Scottish Wildlife Trust today? You represent everything these days, don't you? Yeah. OK. And of course, all the individual experts uh, as well who are not necessarily supporting or representing organizations but are bringing their own expertise and all those that contributed to the exhibitions which please uh, don't miss those botany of course is the key word but i think equally important in my mind is the word passion or without passion in your areas of expertise and the world plants in general little would be achieved. And I think we've got the, the beating heart of Scottish botany here. That's amateurs and professionals. And I think, or I hope, we're all working in splendid rhythm. And a special welcome also to some of our undergraduates, which our undergraduates like to stick their hands in the air. Yeah, we've got, we've got a few there. Lovely to see you. You are the future. I hope you will be inspired by today's conference. It doesn't need me to <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't me, need me to remind you of the huge challenges facing plant diversity across the world. And I think our collective skills and innovation had never been needed more. But we also should take time to celebrate, not just look at what's coming down the track at us, but look at what we are achieving collectively, individual and individually. Uh, celebrate the extraordinary plant atlas, which we'll be hearing about shortly, or we, we all know about, but hearing more about. The Urban Floor of Scotland project. And the work that our team here, led by Arlene, who we hear from later, on conservation translocations. And championing, hooray, says Arlene, and championing conservation horticulture. Yay, I says Simon, yeah. I'll also give a, a shout out for the many individuals who put so much energy into the specialist fields. And from willow herb to bryophytes, small adder's tongue and the Scottish bramble. Where's the Scottish bramble representative today? We are, of course, delighted to be the venue for this conference. And I'd also like to take the opportunity to remind you that we have resources available to you, in particular the herbarium and the library. It's a national and global resource. It is open to you. It's part of the National Botanical Collection. They're there to be used and a very warm welcome awaits you there for your particular uh, studies and projects. At um, this stage, I'd like to introduce Alwyn Grace. Alwyn, ably supported by Llewellyn. That's it, you wave Llewellyn, that's good. Um, Alwyn is our Deputy Director of Science and part of our responsibilities with the herbarium, the library and the archives. So uh, she'll be here for part of this morning. So if you want to talk about that, uh, she's the go to person. Now, another resource I need to flag up today and one that I hope you will not need to use are the fire exits. I have to do this. I'm sorry about it. Anyway, there is no file a uh, fire test or drills planned during the ceremony or the conference. So if the alarm goes off, please make your way out of the fire exits, which are on my right, on my left, and one at the back, 
and assemble at the back of the building. I also have to move on to the kludges, that good Scottish word. Um, for those of you who don't know what a kludge is, it's the toilets and they're out there. Turn left at the corridor and they should be signed. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, friends, students, and I've admitted to mention PhD students. I've just seen a couple in the audience as well. Thank you all again for coming together for this conference. All our